Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, from uh, you people that watch my videos on a regular basis, um, I get messages from people saying, oh yes, can we see the pens after you've restored them? So, yeah, most times I tend to forget. I just get into the pens and start working on them. But um, on this occasion, I'm just going to show you uh, two Parker Dufall pens from my recent pen haul. The first one being this one. There we go, look at this gorgeous pen. This is a Parker Dufold. Um, again, if you look there, is it the Streamline model? I'm not 100% sure which particular model this is, but a lovely pen, lovely condition. Although once we'll we'll give it a little bit of a, a little bit of attention, we'll make it much better. And if you look there, one thing I noticed with this one. It's got this broad, broad stub nib, as you can see there. Okay. So, a lovely Parker Dufold. We've got discolouring as normal to the, uh, to the blind cap there. To the finial to the top there. But what we'll do, we'll, we'll get them lovely and black. We'll give it a lovely polish, new sack. Somebody will enjoy that for many years to come and here it is restored and looking absolutely gorgeous a lovely handsome fountain pen it is what I believe to be a Parker Dufall Junior and if you look at the ends here I believe it's a streamline as you can see it's in this red colour, what we term as permanite, and if I show you the barrel imprint there, I'm hoping you'll be able to see that it says GOS, and then in the middle, Parker Do Fold, and then registered trademark. So it's got a nice barrel imprint, as you can see. The size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 126 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely chunky 13 millimeters in diameter. Um, as you've already seen, it's got these two cap bands there to the bottom of the cap. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got a lovely um, Parker, what we term as a ball clip to the very top there with the word Parker to it. Uh, as you saw before it was all discoloured you can see now it's lovely and black and if we take you down to the um, sort of the blind cap there you'll also notice that is also lovely and black. Now as I say it's a Parker Junior Streamline I believe and I believe it's from around about the 1930s um, again, I've fully restored it, new sacking inside, everything has been fully fully cleaned, everything inside has been cleaned, new sack etc. Now let's take you up to this section there, you can see the section, we've got this slightly, yeah, slightly short section there, and then if we show you the clip, uh, sorry, not the clip, the, uh, the nib, You'll see it's got a Parker Dufold 14 carat pen and then it's got the N to the bottom which indicates it was made in the New Haven factory. You'll also see there to the tip it's well it's a broad a broad nib. It may even be a stub nib. There's a sideways view for you. As always, you can see every part of the pen has been cleaned. It's in lovely condition. A lovely pen to hold. With my large hands, it's a lovely, comfortable pen to hold. Now, as we said, it's got this blind cap to the bottom there. Okay, there we go. It's got this lovely brass button to the end there. Again, everything's been cleaned. There you go. In lovely condition, full working order. And once again, well, 
ready to go. So there we have it. So you saw the pen before, that's the pen after, polished, cleaned, uh, the ends there, black and poly, all the sort of discolouring polished out in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Okay, now not only did we show you this one, but we also, well, on the video, you also saw this particular pen. Yet another Parker, a nice chunky one. Uh, looks to be a Parker Do fold again. Nice nib on it. Ooh. Is it or is it a blank cap? Oh, once again, stiff for some reason. So we'll have to sort that out. But these, once they're restored, they become lovely, lovely pens. And this is the pen once it's been fully restored in gorgeous condition. It's a Parker Dufold AF. Um, let's show you the barrel imprint. It's got a lovely clear barrel imprint. Um, reads, it reads Parker. Um, it's got well, no, it reads Parker Dufold to the centre, to the right, to the left. It's got registered trademark, um, I think. And then underneath, it's got made, made in England. And I don't know if you can actually see to the very end there, to the right. It's actually got a number one. Now the number one indicates I believe that it's from 19, uh, 1951 although saying that the nib is slightly earlier um, as we said this is the Parker Dufold AF which means it's got this what we term as this aluminium aluminium filler here and what we do we simply press that to fill the pen so Let's screw the blind cap back on again. So, a Parker Dufold AF, the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 130 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the pen, it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter. There you go, you see, it's got quite a large cap band with these chevrons running around. We've got this lovely Parker arrow clip there and to the very top we've got this black jewel to the very top of the cap there okay so a lovely pen lovely handsome pen incidentally they made this pen in burgundy grey and blue as well as this lovely classic black colour now let's unscrew the cap for you okay so there's the pen Lovely condition as always everything internally has been cleaned. We've put a new sack in it So you can see the section there. It's got this quite a long section with a ridge towards the nib And then if we show you the nib there keep it nice and still for you It says Parker 14k England and then it's got a number 25 and then a number 9 Okay, so there's a sideways view, there's the feed underneath, lovely and clean, and ready to go. Again, a lovely sized fountain pen. Now just coming back to the nib, it says 25.9, so the 25 is indicating it's what we term as a standard do fold, and the 9 indicates it's 1949, so the nib is slightly earlier than the pen. Now this pen, uh, the AF Do Folds, came out around 1948, so that's correct. Um, sorry, not 1940. Yeah, 1948. They came. The uh, the AF was introduced, and then they stopped making the AF around 1953. They introduced the aerometric system. So, although it's well, I'd say 1951. Uh, on the barrel but 1949 on the clip so yeah that sounds quite reasonable um, as far as I'm concerned again a, a lovely size pen even with my large hands so there we have it there's the pen afterwards so there's for people that like to see the pens before and after um, what we'll do 
because um, I know you people like to see the pens writing as well so I'm not going to fill the pens I'm just going to simply just simply do a dip test so let's dip it in the ink to our right here and let's just see how the pen writes so what we've got is a a Parker do fold um, it's got it's an AF or aluminium filler and made in made in England and made well again I'm saying sort of 1949 through to 1951 as you can see it's writing with a fine line okay so there we have it so let's leave it at that on that one so that's the Parker do fold let's bring on the Parker do fold the 1930s the the other one let's give it a dip let's see how this one writes so what we've got is a a Parker Parker do fold um, once again made in in England um, and again made around 1930s it's writing very nicely this one it's got a lovely ink flow it's quite a wet writer but oh, there we go we've uh, we've run out of ink but that's fine it's just for uh, a quick test so there we've got we've got a quite a fine line and quite well that's quite a broad line as well so both in full working order both writing both in excellent condition so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe subscribe now and don't forget people wherever you are around the world please stay safe especially our friends in the Ukraine Slavo Kriini but for now I'll just say bye bye for now